Welcome to Graduate Sunday. Each year here at Swamp, we honor those who have graduated high school, college, and the eighth grade. This year, we have a fine group of young people. We have two young people who have graduated college, one who has graduated high school, and six who will be moving from the eighth grade to the ninth grade. So because we can't meet as a congregation, we've decided to do a video presentation for the college graduate and the high school graduates. Without further ado, let me introduce our first college graduate, James Mason. Hi, I'm James Mason. I'm a Temple graduate, uh, just graduated in May of this year. I spent four years studying film and media arts. I finally got my BA, uh, which I had to look up to. I didn't know that off the top of my head either. At my time at Temple in those four years, I found myself living most of the time in Philly and for brief periods of time, Rome and Los Angeles. And in between there, I found myself visiting almost seven or eight states across the country and several different European countries. So I feel a lot older than I actually am with the amount of experience I got in college, which leads me to wonder what I want to do next. And I've come to the conclusion that I want to focus on writing and I want to get a job writing, whether it be journalism, travel writing, screenwriting, creative writing. But I really feel a passion for this and I'm really excited about it. And there's a lot of open opportunities for this, especially in this current day and age. So I'll definitely have a job soon and probably one that I'll more likely than not enjoy doing. Well, congratulations to James. Uh, we're excited for what the future holds for him and uh, excited to have him as part of our congregation, everything that he has contributed. Thank you for recording what we're doing here today. And uh, we want to uh, give James a prayer of blessing as he continues into the future that God has for him. So let's pray together for James. Father, we thank you for James. We thank you for his heart. We thank you for the mind that you've blessed him with and for the opportunities that you've given to him. Thank you for the things that he's been able to learn uh, through this experience of college, for the relationships that he's built, and for the person that he continues to become. We pray that you would fill him with your spirit, that you would lead him and guide him, that you would continue to uh, use him to work for the good of your kingdom uh, in our local community and wherever around the world you might happen to take him. Lord, I too thank you for James. Thank you for his life. Thank you for his contribution to this congregation. Lord, I just pray your blessing on him. I pray that your spirit would fill him, that he would never forget your love and your blessing, and that he would always look to serve you wherever he may go, wherever he may be called. Thank you for the gifts that you have endowed him with. I just pray that he would continue to work to develop those gifts for your honor and your glory. Just pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Elizabeth Loinker is our high school graduate this year. Congratulations, Elizabeth, on all your hard work and all your accomplishments. So where did you go to high school, Elizabeth? I went to Doc Mennonite Academy. And where are you going to college? Eastern Mennonite University. And uh, why did you pick EMU? I like the small size and I've been on the campus pretty many times. So your plans, uh, what are you going to major in? Uh, I'll major in accounting. Accounting and um, another thing I want to ask you is, do you plan on extracurricular activities, sports or music or? Yeah, I'm planning on playing field hockey. Field hockey, very good. So congratulations. So Elizabeth, we're glad to have you here as part of our congregation and the time that you've spent here and uh, all the ways that you've contributed uh, throughout your elementary, middle school, and high school years, uh, just your presence, and also different ways you volunteered and helped out as a church. And you're always welcome here in this congregation, uh, once we're actually meeting here in person again. Before that, you have to stay home. <laughs> but um, so yeah, I just want to express our love for you, and there really are a lot of people here that love you and care about you, and uh, want to see you succeed wherever God takes you, whether that is coming back to this community or finding yourself somewhere else. And so we just wanna bless you on your journey, and uh, every year we give students an opportunity to choose either a Bible or a hymnal or a devotional or prayer book. And so Elizabeth um, said that she wanted a prayer book. Um, it's Take Our Moments and Our Days, an Anabaptist prayer book. And most of the prayers in this are actually scripture. And so it's a good opportunity to um, meditate on scripture as an individual. They also work well in family devotions or with friends in your dorm room uh, or wherever you find yourself. Um, so I hope that you appreciate it, enjoy it, and that it helps you to keep Jesus at the center of your life as you head on your way. Thank you. Yeah. So at this time, I think we're gonna have a prayer of blessing Perfect. for Elizabeth. 
Father, we thank you for Elizabeth. We thank you for the life that you've blessed her with, for the breath that you've put in her lungs. We thank you for the person that you have created her to be and the ways that she has uh, learned more about you, more about herself, and more about what it means to love those around her. We pray that as she uh, reaches this milestone in her life of graduating from high school and heading off to college, uh, that you would protect her, that you would continue to give her a, um, a heart to be a learner and to continue to grow in who she is as a person and uh, the things that she knows and understands. We pray that you would use her, that you would use her for your kingdom and for your glory, uh, and that you would just continue to pour your spirit and your love out into her heart. In Jesus' name. Lord, I too thank you for Elizabeth. I thank you for her contribution to this church. I thank you for the gifts that you have given her. And I just pray that as she continues to work to develop these gifts, that you would all call her, call her to what it is that you have for her to do, that she would hear that call clearly, and that she would keep you at the center of her life. I just pray now that as she goes off to school that this would be a rewarding experience for her and that she would be blessed by this experience. Just fill her with your spirit. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hi, I'm Rachel Seidel. I went to Westchester University and graduated with a BS in early grades and special education. I hope to find a job in a general education classroom, but to start off my career, I plan to sub and nanny. And I hope everyone is doing it well with this pandemic. Bye. Rachel, congratulations on uh, your hard work at college and uh, making it to graduation. We look forward to seeing what God is going to do in your life and through you. And uh, especially as jo Rachel joins our ministry team coming into the summer here, we're looking forward to see the things that she brings to this church community as well. So let's take this time to pray a prayer of blessing over Rachel. Father, we thank you for Rachel. We thank you for uh, the person that she has become, for the ways that you have worked in her life. Uh, we thank you for um, her time at college and the things that she's been able to learn, the ways that she's been able to grow. And as she continues to move into um, a, a career and, and teaching, we pray that you would give her wisdom, that you would give her uh, insight, that you would help her to build relationships with her students in ways that help them to grow as well. Uh, and uh, Lord, we just we thank you for Rachel. We pray that you would bless her, that you would pour your spirit out upon her, and that you would continue to use her to build your kingdom up uh, here within our congregation and within our community and wherever it else it is that you might take her. Lord, I too thank you for Rachel. I thank you for the gifts that you have given to her. And I just pray that your spirit would be on her now as she opens this new chapter in her life. I just thank you for being with her through the college years, through the high school years, and for all that she has learned. I thank you that you have blessed her. I just pray that you would continue to bless her and fill her with wisdom and patience as she works with students and that you would call her, call her to where you want her, open up paths for her that she would, could follow. Just pray that your spirit would fill her. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, thanks for watching this presentation of our uh, college and high school grads. Also look for a publication that with a picture of the eighth grade grads and where they're headed. Uh, congratulate these young people when you see them. And don't forget to keep them in your prayers. Thank you.